We're on to episode number five of my options playlist. In this video, I wanted to go through something that I wasn't quite sure of myself recently. I wanted to get my head around leverage when it comes to options. I know one thing for certain and that is options do give you leverage, but I'm not sure exactly how much that is and how much that varies from contract to contract. Luckily, there is a very easy and very quick way to actually calculate the leverage on each option contract, and that's what I'm going to take you through briefly today. Firstly, if anybody needs a brief refresher on what leverage is, let's have a look at a quick example here. Essentially, what leverage does is it gives you more bang for your buck. So it multiplies your gains, but it also multiplies your losses. So it really increases your risk. So let's say the options contract that you hold right now had a leverage ratio of 5 is to 1. Let's say it's a Tesla option. If the Tesla share price increases by just 1%, then the option premium or the price of your option should increase fivefold by 5%. Conversely, if the price of Tesla actually dropped by 1%, then you would see a drop of 5% in your option premium. So next up, how do we actually calculate what that leverage ratio is on the contracts that we have? Well, luckily, there is a very simple formula that you can use to calculate the leverage on each options contract. As you know what options, they love to use the Greek alphabet for everything. You can also commonly hear the leverage of an options contract called lambda, and this is the symbol for it here. So you can calculate the lambda of an options contract by simply taking the delta and multiplying that by the stock price of the underlying company and dividing that by the option price. You might be aware of delta already, which is essentially the change in the options premium due to the change in the underlying stock price. This is a metric that is regularly quoted by any broker that allows you to trade options and it's very easy to find. Let's say for example, the options contract that you have has a delta of 0.5. If the stock price increases by one dollar then your options premium should increase by 50 cents the best thing we can do now is actually go and have a look at a real life example so i'm going to have a look at this tesla option which expires in 42 days um the current price of tesla stock at the time of me recording this video is 256 dollars and 96 cents we're going to have a look at an option here with a strike price of $255. The ask price for a call option at this strike is currently $23.60. We have all of the metrics we need here except for Delta, which will be on the next slide. If we click in further on Interactive Brokers to that specific contract, we can easily find our Delta here, which is 56.98 or 0.5698 as we will use for the formula. So now let's pop in all of the variables we need into this formula. As we said, we only need the delta, the stock price, and the options price. So we know the underlying price of Tesla is $256.96. The options price or the ask price for that call option was $23.60. And our delta was 0.57. This then works out our leverage to be on this option of 6.2, which is a pretty decent amount of leverage to be getting. It's also quite useful to be able to visualize this using the Black Skulls options pricing calculator. So this is another one that I've covered in a separate video that you should check out. But let's look at how much the leverage actually comes into play here when we start messing around with the underlying price of the stock. So as we said already, the price of Tesla shares right now is $256.96. If I increase that to $270, which is an increase of 5.07%, all other things being equal, this actually increases our call option premium by 34.06%. So the leverage here is coming close to around 67 I think it was slightly lower at 62 when we did our lambda calculation there just a minute ago, but they're roughly, roughly the same. But one very, very important thing to be aware of that you've probably already realized is that leverage is not really constant. It doesn't say um, fixed. It's always changing on an options contract and that is because the options price is affected by a number of different variables such as the time to maturity, the interest rate and the level of volatility on the market right now. For example here are two rules to go by. The more volatility there is the lower your leverage is going to be and the longer the time to expiry is the lower your leverage is also going to be. Let's have a quick look at another example to illustrate this. So this option is a Tesla option also, but it doesn't expire for 455 days. So there's much more time until expiration. 
we're going to have a look at one with a strike price of $250 and the ask price for this option is $69.45. And this particular option is slightly more into the money so it has a slightly higher delta of, of 0 0.67882. And now let's actually plug those numbers back into our formula. And as we can see here, if we plug all those numbers in, we come out with a much lower leverage of 2.5 for this more long dated option. If you are interested in learning more about long dated options or leaps as they are commonly called, which have expiries of greater than one year, my last video, I think it was, was on that topic, which might be interesting for you. So go and check that one out. So that was quite a short one today, but I like to keep these things bite-sized because you can get quite overwhelmed when you're talking about lots of different options topics at once i uh, hope you found this video useful if you're enjoying this series please make sure and drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated on the latest videos thanks very much again and hopefully i'll see you guys again in the next video